Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at a few C16 fire protection contractor exam questions. What events are required to activate a pre-action double interlock electric pneumatic system? The correct answer is D. Operation of a detection device and a sprinkler head. When should a contractor perform an underground flush test? The correct answer is C after connection to the supply source and before connection to the system riser. According to the NFPA 25, how long after installation should quick response sprinklers be tested? The correct answer is C, after 20 years. So as you can see on the C16 fire protection exam, there's a quite uh, a bit of information that is going to be referenced. Obviously, you're going to need to know about planning fire protection projects, estimating, installing pipes and thrust blocks, fire hydrants, sprinkler systems, but then also various uh, things like testing, uh, installing fire suppression systems, fire protection equipment, and then obviously personal and job site safety. Remember, there's thousands of possible questions that rotate on the trade exam. Many of them are going to be math related and they cover varying aspects of the fire protection trade. 25% of the exam covers just planning and estimation, 11% covers installation of underground fire main systems, 34% covers installation of fire protection systems, 8% covers fire protection system maintenance and repair, and then of course 22% covers safety. A huge amount of these exams is safety. What we've done is we've taken all of the information you're going to need to know, we've condensed it, You'll get summarized cliff note formats of the information covering everything on the C16 fire protection exam. It's presented to you in a clearly written way with examples, diagrams, and descriptions. This can either be in ebooks or physical study guides. You get online practice tests, online lectures, a complete review of mathematics so you're ready for those math related questions. And then, of course, all our courses are include an application tutorial and review to ensure that your application is filled out correctly before you send it off to the CSLB. Just want to make this quick video. We've got two other videos that you'll see appear or you can check out below this video that go a lot deeper into the other aspects of the exam, the law side of the test, a lot more information covering the C16 exam, what the process looks like, where you take it, everything you need to know, you're definitely going to want to check that one out. And then we've got another one that goes a lot deeper into the requirements uh, that the CSLB has for C16 fire protection contractors, how you're going to fill out that certification of work experience, what type of experience you can use and what you can't use. So you'll definitely want to check out those two videos. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in our C16 crash course, you can check that out on the screen here or the links below. Again, hope you found this video helpful. This is digitalconstructive.com and thanks again for watching.